Now, I think I may have ran out of time or something. Uh, something just didn't go because uh, I checked the camera. Uh, it's 12.40 a.m. on uh, October 28, 2012. I am Beak Supreme, and this video is for the Beaklebotics YouTube channel. How to wire up the, um, the lighting system for the SNES Pi box. Of course, uh, just to recap, this will go up in here and simulate both track lighting, track style lighting, and recess lighting at the same time. These will be cut down shorter length, these, uh, these, these leads here for the LEDs, um, to where they just fit flush with the surface pretty much. Um, just to show you that they work after I wash this and all it, here's our blue, uh, 470 nanometer, uh, very dominant, uh, very dominant type of LED in color, all these that I've dealt with, um, they're, uh, they're very dominant, um, they, you know, when you have green on the same circuit, um, the, the blue just overpowers the green, and the green really dims for some reason. Now here's my ultraviolet. Uh, I got 405 nanometer. Now I can feel these in the dark because I put some uh, heat shrink on one of them, so I can feel which one is positive. Here's my uh, ultraviolet. I don't have a whole lot of power in this battery for these. This is 405 nanometer. This is the exact wavelength and therefore color of Blu-ray. Um, now, I need more power. Good thing I got this wall adapter here, 3 volt. Now these LEDs are typically rated for, three, these specific ones are rated for about 3.3 .3 volt typical. 4 volt maximum. But this power supply is 3 volt, but it's a lot more amperage for some reason. Here is the ultraviolet right here. Um, this is long wave ultraviolet um, of uh, 405 nanometers, the exact same wavelength, therefore the exact same color as Blu-ray. Uh, stuff in here is glowing. Um, my shirt, you can see it glowing here. Now the 300, the 380s, 380 nanometer wavelength gives, gives a little bit more of a black light effect, uh, and it's not as purple. But uh, you can see how bright this is. This is when it's getting plenty of power. Um, you see some of this here. Uh, the hot glue uh, still glows here, a nice white color. Um, I'm going to test my uh, my blue here. Feel positive. Okay. Here we go. Here's my blue. This is 470 nanometers right here. And uh, these are wide angle here, 100, about 130 degrees viewing angle. 470 nanometers, very pretty color. Oh gosh, these are so bright. Um, oh yeah, this is a really good color. I think I'm going to use this. And uh, gosh, these are almost starting to look white. But um, yep. This is uh, successfully wired up. Just two different channels here, or yeah, they called channels, two different circuits, um, therefore you can do two different colors of light, or you can combine all of them together, uh, which we will do. Combine both these positives here, and both the negatives. Now we'll see, uh, Yep, there's both of them on. Now the ultraviolet, you can see it's got plenty of power, but it's just lighter in color. Um, and the blue is very dominant. And um, you know, the blue is very dominant. Matter of fact, it's making that 405 nanometers, making it look kind of pink. Oh gosh, it's so bright. But um, this power supply, once again, it's uh, it's three volt, but it's it's six watts. Or is it seven watt? But anyway, it's like well, I think it's seven watt, but it's like six hundred milliamp. And these LEDs typically only use like twenty or thirty milliamp. Um, so it's uh, gosh, I'm starting to see. Well, I'm seeing purple. It's weird. Yeah, stuff you mess with your eyes. Now these are the blues. I gotta put these back where they belong. Um. Is ultraviolet back in there too. Alright, blues. I really like these. Uh, keep going back to the 470 nanometer uh, color. 
I like to have a nice pretty indigo where it's like a blue purple or I guess they call it violet. And here's my um, here's my one and five nanometer. Now I was buying LEDs from Radio Shack because they had a pretty decent assortment, but they're they're more expensive. Oh my gosh. I mean that, that's good for a start. Like if you're not sure what color and you just want to go grab some LEDs really quick, yeah, Radio Shack wouldn't be bad. Uh, but like if you you know I mean if you know what you want, and you want to get a bunch of them for a project like I'm starting to do. Uh, Radio Shack could be kind of expensive, and, and they even sell them online uh, at the same price they sell them in stores. Uh, so I don't know if you can get any kind of volume discount. Um, anyway, um, so uh, what, what LED is this? Oh, is this, um, is this one of the light ones? I'm going to power it to, uh, to find out my battery. Oh, here it is. Yeah, there's one of the white ones. So I need to take that and um, put it back in the package right here. It's flat top white. I ordered ten of those because I'm pretty sure I was going to use them. Now this is uh, from the website leadingleds.com. Um, and I'll probably order more from there because the, the LEDs I order, they average like 20 cents. Um, some of them are 7 or 9 cents. And then uh, for the cheaper ones, some of them, the more expensive ones, are the ultraviolet and the color changing. They cost me 49 cents each. But anyway, uh, I'm going to have to conclude this video. It's almost 1 o'clock in the morning. I am Beak Supreme, and this video is for the Beak Robotics YouTube channel. Enjoy and pet some.